Now then, welcome back to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. And I've been doing the very most I could to survive. <laughs> that hover vessel over there is not my original hover vessel. I've used the uh, blueprint and factory to make myself a second one. I have lost everything. I've lost everything multiple times on death runs. I had a crazy plan and I went and I tried to do it all for the sake of trying to find some neodymium and uh, yeah one ship after the other went to like do a death run and perished and I've lost everything I lost it all but I'm not upset I'm not upset I've recovered I rage quit and now I'm starting to record again I do have some clips and stuff to show you uh, but first off, let me just give you a little explanation so you can tell from the clips roughly where we're going and all that. Uh, there is a place over here. Here we go. This has got my small vessel over there. It's a fortress, Mark 1, which I think is new to the game and recently spawned in. So I've got this fortress and a Titan mid part over here. Now the fortress itself, um, yeah, took care of my small vessel, all right, took care of me. Uh, blew me up a few times and tried to death run to the small vessel, but there's nothing left of it. Um, the other one is the drone base just over here. Drone base just south of here. I set myself up another home. I set myself up another base. The base there is from the latest update, which will be in the clip as well. And I've got a hover vessel there and a small vessel there that both got destroyed by the missiles firing across the lake at me. The drone base is not something to be taken lightly, I've figured. Uh, but after all that, I have managed to find this mid part of the Crash Titan. I believe I was travelling back across to go and do another death run. And I found this crashed mid part of the Titan. And in there, I found a ton of cool stuff. Including stuff that we actually need. I found some advanced CPUs from stuff that I was breaking in there such as the capital ship thrusters and things I was breaking up and getting CPUs back. But I also found a con cargo container with 25 ingots of neodymium ingots. 25 ingots of neodymium? Yeah, anyway. I found it, which means now that I can produce some of the capital ship part that I need to get my capital ship project underway. And then they will rule the day that they ever let me respawn over here over and over again with my death run. Now there have been some comments, thank you very much for the comments. There have been some uh, good comments down below. And I've come up with an idea based on those comments that I want to have a go at today. Uh, now, if we have a look in the factory, in the blueprints. Uh, we have just recently received the 1.5 update. And there are some new things in here. There's a basic starter tier 1 base, which looks pretty cool. It's a bit wood. Uh, a tier 2 base, which was all iron. That was there originally, I believe. Tier 2 now, though. And there's also a tier 2 starter SV. Uh, this is the first one we did, and we went out of space. There's a new tier 2, which I believe has some guns on it. Looks pretty good as well. Cheap, looks pretty good, and has guns on it. Kind of like the look of it as well, but we've already kind of got something, and I I really like this Colonial Viper that I got from the Steam Workshop instead. So maybe maybe we'll go into that some other time. Uh, also, this warp dropship, which is a capital vessel, uh, requires this neodymium ingots. Yes, so neodymium is the thing that's kind of slowing me up right now. Uh, but I have thought of a potential idea, a potential solution to this idea. I made myself a sniper rifle so I could kind of use the, the telescope or the telescopic sight for it so I could see a little bit better what was going on over there because they don't show up on the map right now. They're not on my map. They're, they're a long, long way away according to my map. Uh, but that means I can have a good look at them without them being able to do anything to me in theory. Uh, I've still got to base assault them, um, but... I can set up my base somewhere close by, I guess. I could set up my base over here so I can see their base. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. I can't rightly tell you. There's transport troops and all sorts over there. It could be good fun to farm 
the the drones would be good fun could be good fun to farm the drones i don't know though they don't give a lot of really cool stuff they give some cool bits and pieces but not lots of really cool bits and pieces uh so i wonder if there's anywhere better on the map to park up my new base to be able to uh, make the most of that drone area and just over that side maybe just behind the ridge there so i've got a bit of cover maybe just over there let's go and have a quick check let's go and see i would like to kind of attract their attention over here a little ways uh, just so that i can um just shoot them out of the sky as they're coming for me really but i'm not sure where i want to set up camp as such uh i think over here is not going to be too bad they might get attracted to me over here this might be a good place let's turn it around and settle it down there we go down we go thank you all right uh check we've got the fuel in i think the drones are coming does look like they're coming uh maybe maybe not <laughs> i just shot the sniper rifle for the first time without any actual bullets in i don't think the sniper rifle is going to take these things down anyway but i should be able to at least take a shot at them nah that's not doing any good whatsoever from that far away okay never mind right let's just check my fuel's okay yeah we're good on fuel for now okay um i'm gonna risk it and build a base over here a new base just a little ways away from that over there just so that i can attack it from close range whoa that's that's firing now it's seen me okay yeah now it's seen me all right so that's a bit too close so just round here is probably close enough then all right so what have we got in our blueprint library let's see at the factory we have what do we got library that is ready to build okay spawn it it's quite big and let's spawn it back here yeah it's having a go at me Wee that's cool all right and drone down first drone down oh they're not coming over the ridge though those missiles are going to start shooting at me but the mini drones are not going to get close enough for me to take them out that needs to be a thing that needs to be a thing they need to be close enough to take take uh, for me to take them out and then pick up all the pieces oh man look at this cool base though so this is a, a new tier of starter base looks pretty cool doesn't it looks pretty cool We've got some glass around over here. That's quite nice. And uh, ammo boxes, generator, food processor, some food plots, fuel tanks, oxygen, a constructor already. Uh, it's not bad. It's a tier tier one base, is it? Yeah, tier one base. And automatic door there. This is kind of just like the balcony. It's quite cool. And it's got a gun on top. Uh, I think maybe I've already lost the top shell, though yes it would have been an internal wouldn't it but i've already lost a ton dang it okay uh well <laughs> good place to be i suppose good place to be and the wood just got taken down really quick i've got a fridge in here and everything oh yeah it's okay it's awesome uh it's only shooting at the base when i'm on the ridge so i've got to be careful now to set things up so that it's not gonna blow me up as well and kind of repair some bits of it oh yeah good but today we're going to go after that over there i think maybe i should try and make my way towards it and take out those turrets first uh, i think that's a good idea well i've made a start on the capital vessel it's it's a fully functioning capital vessel but it's not very pretty now, obviously, the capital vessel side of things, I want it to be a lot bigger because, well, it's a capital vessel and it should be huge, should be humongous, massive, have all the things I need in it. This particular capital vessel 
Ow, I just hurt myself. Uh, this particular capital vessel, I'm planning on having it for more of um, an around the world explorer. Exploring around the world. So, I've started laying it out with, well, basically all of the requirements to start off with. So that I've got that neodymium, which is so hard to come by, all in the right places. So, I think I needed it for this RCS. Uh, and I believe I needed it for the directional thrusters. So I've got directional thrusters in all directions. And I've got a big thruster on the back here for the rear. So all working nicely. So everything is fully functioning. I can move it around. And I've done that uh, a few times just to get it into position and see it. And it's quite a fast, powerful ship as it is, which is awesome. Uh, I also laid the cement down to cover up the water edge. So this is technically the old lake. So I've filled in the base of the old lake with concrete. And i got this little sloping section going down to the landing platform. And I'm planning on building the capital ship out along the ways uh, to filling it all out properly. i got my landing pad. i got my landing feet and so on. Uh, and now I'm working on the next bits and pieces. I'm going to end up moving the thrusters. I know I'm going to end up moving the thrusters. But for a start, and for the limited resources I've got, I couldn't really afford to build the capital ship that I wanted, or the capital ship that I will end up with, uh, without building a practical capital ship to start off with. Uh, the main thing that we've got going on here is I can walk up the stairs into the capital ship. I can walk up this when it's landed somewhere. And also, you can see that the hover vessel here is slightly off the ground because it's got a landing pad or docking pad docked onto the ship. Which means when I move the ship, I'm also moving that hover vehicle, which is good. And I wanted to have a few different hover vehicles in here for different reasons and different resources and all that kind of stuff. Including hover vehicles that are basically just turrets. Tanks, turrets. So I can land by an enemy base and just roll out a hover vehicle that's got a load of turrets on it and go and blow the hell out of it. Uh, I also want to heavily armor this thing. So, uh, one of the, the blocks that we've got available to us for armor is the extra tough steel. Uh, hardened steel blocks. Here we go. So, with the hardened steel blocks, what I'm planning on doing with this initial shape is going over it with walls so i will uh, i will wall wall up sort of look a paneling a wall paneling over the outside edge of it all like this and then maybe go and get the texture tool and change the textures around so maybe that will show that there because that's got one of the thrusters on it that's the directional thruster and then maybe uh, throw some other bits and pieces just like panels around that so I'll make a great big box ship. And that will do me for exploring and sorting things out in the early stages. A mobile base. A big square-ish mobile base. So that I can travel around the planet collecting resources. I've got a few ideas for things that I want to add into this particular land design to uh, get me started. And then maybe, just maybe, I'll build another ship out in space. Have a little bit more uh, maneuverability around it to be able to place blocks around in different places, top, bottom, sides, and build it in space. But first off, I need at least something that's going to be secure for collecting the resources. So this is a resource-gathering capital ship that I'm building here. Uh, one of the features that I'm thinking of putting in uh, on top of having this large chamber where I store all my stuff and it's basically the same size as the inside of that base so I can put all of the things that I've got in that base in here uh, I'm also considering having a hole in the floor uh, I, I don't know where exactly maybe I'll have it central uh, and so I can land over the sh over something but I want to be able to just sort of land it on top of um, a resource point and then entering through the, the underside so let's get this kind of central here there and then have 
one of those uh, lift shafts going down into the resource. So the resource would just be here. Then I'll start mining out the resource underneath the cover of the ship, underneath the, the defense of the ship, and work my way down. And if I get those um, lift blocks, I can have the lift that goes from here all the way up and take the lift down into the resource as well. So I can then just float up from the resource gathering, come up to this level and just, I don't know, use a load of the the fabricators to change the ores into whatever. Meanwhile, on the outside of the base, on the top and on the sides and things, I'm going to have rocket turrets and all those kind of things that I can make without the neodymium. Hopefully that'll all work nicely. Uh, so I think I want to test out the, the hover capabilities of it all first. Uh, let's just take these tools out for now. Uh, I will make the hardened plates. The reason I've destroyed their bases is to get the metal plates to be able to make these hardened plates. So this will be my armoured shell around it all. And from that I should be able to add in some other bits and pieces as well just to defend it nicely. Uh, yeah, I think it'll work. It's going to look a bit blocky and it's going to look a bit horrid, but it's kind of like the central pod of a design. I can add another pod onto each side and I can add another pod on the front and I can add some more pods on the top and on the bottom and all that kind of stuff for the final design. Uh, overall, though, we want the inside of the ship to have spacey areas like this for each part and then you go through different doors into other different areas. So that is kind of the overall feel of it. Now, if you haven't seen the the blocks that are the elevator blocks before, this is elevator block. Only requires a couple of metal components, one electronics and four cables. So not very expensive at all. So I could make a fair few of these and just have these to allow me to float up and down between the resources. Uh, there's two in particular that I've got at the minute. I'll have to make some more resources, no doubt, for the other things. But it's no problem. Let's uh, run around a little bit. So I can have the lift blocks in here, like this, connected to that. And therefore, when I, uh, when I land somewhere, I've got a way in and out from the ground. Uh, I should have a way in and out from the ground. Maybe I haven't turned the ship on yet. No, the ship's off there. Turn it back on. I thought the elevators just did the thing that the elevators just did. And it doesn't seem to be doing anything elevator-ish. That's no good. I'm sure I've seen the elevator blocks in their ships doing things the right way around. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be uh, doing anything at the moment. I wonder why. Do I have to power it specifically? Do I need something in particular to power it properly? I don't know. Let's have a look. It's got to work, though. The idea should be sound, really. And I don't seem to have the lift as part of the ship, as part of the controllable blocks at the minute for some reason. Uh, let's take take that sh that out. Now is it connected? No. Hmm. Cockpit. Core. Everything's down as unpowered. What? Cockpit. Powered. Ah! Now it's up. Now it's rising up in the air. And now is this working? No. Oh. And now I'm down here and it's up there. But it... <laughs> oh dear. What a pain. Uh, but as you can see, it's uh, it's floating perfectly fine in the air. It's doing everything it's supposed to do. Now all I've got to do is try and get it down so that I can get into it again. Hmm. That's, uh, that's an issue that I hadn't thought of. Maybe when it runs out of fuel, it'll just float down by itself. Maybe. Please. Please help. Please help in the comments. Maybe I've got to, like, place a load of elevator blocks down here and try and get that to sort out. Uh, let me just see if I can get the elevator blocks to figure out well I've been testing it out all night well all in-game night anyway and I've come to the conclusion that it's broken <laughs> right powers off on the whole ship okay this is uh, power off this is power on 
power on, lights on, power off, lights off, everything off. So with the power off, I can walk into the base of the elevator, and there has to be a base of an elevator, it seems. And I can go up, but not quite to the top. It doesn't quite hover me to the top. It takes me up uh, one, two and a half blocks. So I'm not kind of in line with this, but I keep falling back down off that top one. Right, and then you can lower yourself down, you can raise yourself within those two and a half blocks. Which is a bit annoying because you want things to be more than two and a half blocks. Now, the only thing that I can think of trying next is to make it so that this is an internal kind of area. Instead of making it an external on its own kind of area. So I'm testing that out. Still, still only up to two and a half when I've got one block on the side. Uh, and if I take the block out below, it doesn't even work at all. It doesn't do anything. So I've got to figure out the mechanics. And there's nothing on the wiki to show me what the mechanics are. Now, so I'm kind of thinking that it's probably meant to be set into an area like this. So you would expect it to be set in to an area. And then you would go up like that. So let's just say that I'm going up from one level to the next. Right? So you'd walk into your elevator. And you'd go up. And you'd fall back down again. Half a block down. So you'd have to jump up and out. But uh, I've, I'm sure I've seen it do it more than just two and a half blocks. So what am I doing wrong? Right, so power it. Power the base. The base is now powered. Get into the base and... I'm up. Two and a half blocks still. Two and a half blocks still. But I can't get it to work more than two and a half blocks. What am I doing wrong? I'm fairly sure that that is not how it's supposed to be. But for some reason, I do not understand. It is only letting me do two and a half blocks of movement in an elevator. What have I got wrong? Tell me down in the comments, please. Uh, but that is all I've got time for this episode. I didn't even want an elevator there, to be honest. I wanted an elevator going down. Uh, but I wanted the elevator to go down more than two and a half blocks. I wanted to go down into the mine shaft, as it were. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to consider my options again very soon. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. Hopefully your comments will have paid off, and I will continue to build the capital ship a little bit more. Maybe uh, figure out the mining at least, and tune in next episode for more. Let me just make sure I take this down from the top instead of from the bottom. Excellent. Alright, thank you for watching, and goodbye.